Here we go. We're still resurrecting her. We're resurrecting her. Is it worse to lose your faith in your fathers than it is to lose faith in yourself? Those in the harrows who lived would be wise to look inwards, to reflect, and then to pay penance. But none carry a greater burden than young Lamentation Haskell. How will he guide the faltering faithful, when he has so little faith in himself? I should have just taken the map. I guess just look right now. Okay. Oh, new hunter. God damn. I did that. <laughs> there was me. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, we gotta go back down here, bro. We gotta go back. Oh, shit. We gotta go back down here, little bro. Oh, fucking hell. God damn. What's going on in Miami? We gotta go back here. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. There's no, <laughs> shit. There's no fucking way, bro. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah. All right. We'll take this. Take this to go back down. Oh, that was too funny. I said, "Oh shit, that was me." South, no? Then that one we can hit up this one, maybe? No. Can't mark that. Okay.
Pay attention. Go this way now. Level 20. What am I? 15? Who the fuck is that down there? Who the fuck are you? Shit. Who the fuck is this guy? Or woman? Oh, she died. Who there? Can I help you? Oh, she died? What happened? She hung herself? <laughs> Yo, oh, okay. I shouldn't be laughing. I should mm. I shouldn't be laughing. Doesn't she laughing. remind you of Goody Perkins? Hi. Old lady. She seemed fine. We should look in on her. I have another insight. Watch out. Spectre position. Now we're doing some wild shit. Here we go. Wait a bitch. That one is shielded. Jesus. That was about to die right there. She died. How did she die? What did she do? Why did she get hung on the fucking... Of all places, she got hung on the boat, man. What did she do? Perkins. Goody Perkins. What could you have possibly done? I take the heart, you take the roots. Okay. But when I shoot this, where the red stuff at? Okay, there's one. There has to be more than one, too, right? Or is it just one? A one, and then I see it. It's like, run down here. Oh, wait. Can I, like, break this? No, how the fuck? What do I have to run over here? Oh, I do. I see, I see, I see. Maybe I do one of these. Oh. Let me do this. What the fuck was that? Oh, okay. Very nice. Hell yeah. Now I can see it. There we go. Now it's one. Shoot that one and then shoot the other one. Okay. We're good. We're good. I got this. I got this. That's it. Where's one more? Where's the other one? Where could the other one possibly be? Oh, is it back here? That has to be it, right? There's one more. There's one more? Oh, no. We got it. We got it? Oh, my God. There's another one? Oh, my God. There's another one. Oh my shit, there's another one. Okay, where is this one fallen now? Jesus Christ. Okay, there's one back here. Is it just this one? Please tell me it's just this one. Yeah, it looks like it's just that one. Thank fucking god. Holy shit balls. The roots won't remain visible for long after I take the heart. Be quick. Yeah, well. Oh, I 
got it. Okay. I see where you're. I see where you're. Going. And the last one's over here, right? This is the last one. Quick and precise. Well done. Nice, dude. Fucking nice, mate. Fucking nice, mate. Fuck yeah, mate. It still don't under. Uh, it still doesn't answer my question. How the fuck did Goody Perkins get up? Did she hang herself? Cause did she hang herself? This looks like the captain's cabin, frozen in time. Don't mind if I do, then. Let's see what this is. Uh, clear skies, calm seas, no wind, reach New Eden. Oh, 12 days at sea to reach New Eden, one blue whale, two rights. Taylor Putnam, ill with likely scurvy, quarantined as a safeguard. We race ahead of the plague in a hurry to catch the tide. I risk changing the weather. Oh, sorry. I risked the changing weather. The swell is high and the wind is strong. We run a sea anchor, all sails furled, and hope we are not dragged too far from Boston. This is my last trip. I know that now. In my, in my dreams, I see my beloved in our house on a cliff before her spreads the never-ending sea. To her back, the shimmering fields. To go home to my wife, Hefzeba, Hef and be a better husband. The ship's captain was married to Goody Perkins. That must be why her ghost lingers here. They must have had a house. Can't be far, if it still stands. I can't get this, no. Because it's gonna be in the house. Fucking knew it. There's a lock. I'm gonna need always, a key. Always, always. The years seem to have spared this place. How strange. Okay, well, so now... We go where? Oh, we have to go over there. Over where? Over there. I guess we just walk down and see what the fuck's going on. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, that's her house? That's something different. Hey, yo. Alright. Guess we gotta get the fuck out of here. Yo. This fucking dumbass right. Get me out of here. Should we just grab all of the shit beforehand? All of the haunting cases? Let's do this one that first. Boat reminds me of old buddy Ian. Oberdeen. I went there once. Oberdeen. Sat on the quay with my mum and my sister was eating cod and watching the boats. My father took me fishing. I too would watch the great ship. Ships come and go, yeah. Ships yeah, yeah. come and go. I'd get restless. He'd give me the squid he grilled for his hand lights. Ooh. Miss him. Lagging. Now I'm fucking perfect. Jesus Christ. This game. Obradin. That's a game. Okay, from here we go... Lefticles, correct? Correcticles? Lefticles. Correcticles? Correcticles. Shit here now. I wasn't here before. What the heck? Okay. okay grab this one, the sewer. And there's one up there, and then I saw one back there. Hold on. Yeah, 
There's not one back here, see? Or is this the... Oh, that's the fucking... Damn it. Oh, no, that's the one. Destroy okay. those ghost wards if you want to be back. Where? Where's the ghost wards, though? I'm not... I'm at your side again. Okay, and then, the, and then the thing is down there, and that one's up there. Okay. Up there real quick. The Obradin. How do we get up there? The house by the sea. Hepzibah's house. A lonely place for an old woman alone. Okay, I got it all. Okay, we're good. Okay, we got all three. Nice. Alright, so what's your what's your what's your problem, miss? No, no, it's not here. Where did I put that stupid key? Good day. What? How is she alive? Oh. Who are you? I don't know you, do I? Didn't we meet her ghost? Good day, ma'am. Red McCraith. We spoke, uh, of late. I'm the Banisher. Why, yes, I do remember. You're the kind young man, the doctor. Or was it the rat catcher? Uh, what can I do for you? Hmm. Noticed anything strange lately? Nothing stranger than usual. How about lurkers? Shadowy figures, perhaps, seen from the corner of your eye. The feeling that someone was watching you. No. Why? Well, here's the thing. I believe you may be haunted by a ghost. A ghost? Don't be silly. I have rats, maybe. I'm sure I've heard them scrabbling. But they're just rats. Change the subject. See if it helps. Did I hear you were looking for a lost key? Would you like me to help you look? Why, thank you, young man. That would be just fine. Have you any family, Goody Perkins? A sister, perhaps? I don't have any relatives left. Did you have a twin sister? My memory, sir, is lately like Empty pages in the book. But I would surely remember a sister. Her memory is failing. There's something you should know. In the wrecked hull of a sea vessel, I found your husband's log. Husband? The very idea. I've known no husband. <laughs> I'm sorry. The log cannot be right. It must belong to someone else. It, it must, right? Yes, it must. I've no no husband, and I'll not hear otherwise. Not so sure about that. Hefziba and Hefziba. I think one of them is Goody Perkins. And the one that died is Hefziba. Maybe. I'll bid you good day, ma'am. You take care now, Richard. Who do Her Who? memory seems muddled. Mm-hmm. What do I gotta say? Is this the price of getting old? Well, let's find out. <laughs> We're just gonna steal from her. Fuck yeah, that's what I like to see. My dearest Widow Perkins, I write to you on the subject of an unexpected recent visit from a gentleman come to proper 
to come to propose an engagement to my sister by, or so he claimed, your recommendation. Thank you for your concern for my sister's future and mine, but please, I beg you, do not interfere in our affairs, for we can manage them all alone. We can manage them well enough alone. Thank you again for your kindness, but we know that what we want and how to find it. Mary Claire O'Hara. I see. Picking up something spectral nearby. Oh, dust. Undisturbed. She mustn't come up here anymore. Handmade. I'm guessing it's her husband's boat. The Kronos. Unusual name. Time. Timely, right? Nothing interesting here. Then why would they hope? What? I'll use a sextant, but I prefer a well-drawn map. It's really not that complicated. Map. Every time. <laughs> Did you feel that? It's close. The behind this door? I feel an echo. Uh-oh. Not here. That's the anchor. I feel a draft. What do you mean? From the invisible. Whales have been spotted off the coast, both to the southeast and to the northeast. The waters of New Eden are poor in fishermen and rich in cetaceans. The fuck? So they went from fishermen to hunting whale? Moby Dick shit? Oh, there's the it's echo. It's all well. I heard a noise. Worry not, madam. Not about the furniture, at least ways. You killed her sister? That witch put a curse upon my poor husband's boat. He lies dead in the briny deep, and she walks free. I'll not bear it, and nor should you. Your distress moves me, Mrs. Perkins. I'm very sorry for your loss. And I swear upon my honor as a servant of God, I shall not turn from the truth. You may trust me to deal with Deborah in the appropriate way. Attending that, please put the sickle down, for I fear you'll do one of us an injury. Goody Perkins was very angry. And she hated Deborah. Or Keep what? looking for the key. Or her husband. Okay. <laughs> oh, dumbass. Widow Walsworth. I turned to you for solace since losing Tomkin. I have felt so terribly alone. I do not know you well, and you know me not at all. But we are bonded, you and I, in the loss of our menfolk to the cruelty of the ocean. Okay. Read this then. Whale. I saw another like it on the ship. Key's hers. We should return it. Motherfucker said, return it. Bitch, I'm gonna use it on the ship before I return it. The fuck is you talking about? How do I get up there, though? I don't think I can use it on the ship yet. Oh, fucking hell. I think I have to talk to her. I don't think I can use it on the ship yet. Goody Perkins, here's the key. Key? 
What key? The key you were looking for. That key. The key. I don't know anything about a key. I don't want it. You keep it. You had a husband. Have you forgotten? Stop saying that. I've never married. When he died, you blamed Deborah. One of the widows from your husband's crew wrote to you. What happened? I know no Deborah. I have no husband. I know no Deborah and you, sir, are bothering me. Please leave. We'll get no more from Goody Perkins. Maybe someone at the Harrows will know something. Right now, I talk to these dumbass motherfuckers. Look, there. I do believe that's our ghost. Where? She's leading us somewhere. Let's follow her track. I don't like ghosts that run away. Come on then, keep up. Ugh. Wait. I, I didn't even see. Wait, hold on. Okay, let's go one. Okay, here. Okay. Follow this. Okay. I see the tracks. I see the tracks. I see the motherfucking tracks. All right, we going up. We going. Oh, man, up. I'm surprised. Sweet old harmless Goody Perkins was an absolute hellion. People change over time. But since her husband died at sea, why blame Deborah for it? She needed someone to blame? Uh, she was in pain. Needed someone to blame for the loss of her husband. Let's There's ask her fog. ghost. There's a lot of fog. That means these motherfuckers are worse off than when I killed what's his name. But who cares? That motherfucker was doing some fuck shit. I guess we go back to the chip. We're going to the chip. Going to the chip. We go back to the chip. Okay. It's gonna be like, yo, where's the fucking. What the hell? What's this? Wagon. Back here again. Maybe we missed something the first time. It's a key for the ship. Kill this first. Hugging all the fun. Has to be close. What are you sensing? Oh, there's a jump. He wants me to jump from there to up there. Hold on, let me get this key real quick because there is a. Can't I use this key? A spinex. How does an old ship magically become newer? Nice. So what? what's in here? Nothing. It's like absolutely garbage. Maybe I shouldn't have used that key? 
There's a. Whoa, what the fuck? Away with you! What the fuck was that? Yeah, there's a jump. Okay, it does want me to jump because it wants me to check the... Uh, okay. Whoa. You could kill a fair few whales with one of these. You're not the type. Okay, so this is where the... Ghost leads me to, right? But the jump leads me. Hold on, man. It's like super, this is like super scuffed right now. I think it's because I opened the box already, maybe? Because the ghost over there wants me to jump from there, and that's where the teleport spot is called the jump this spot. This could be a good spot to cross. How do you get up there? That's the question. How did you get up the far away? I can't jump from that, can I? Is that what it, is that what it's telling me? I have to jump that way? No shot, right? The spot has to be close. It is. That's what it's telling me. Dingus. That should look like it was higher though. So let's go this way, right? And then we go through. Oh, from here you jump. This could be a good spot to cross. Shoot this. Literally blocking the whole thing. Uh, maybe down here. Where is the fucking... Do you see anywhere that could help? Keep searching here. Can't cut that. Okay, definitely not that. There's no way I gotta go all the way down for me to sh boot it, right? What am I missing? There's got to be something here. Oh, down here. Okay. I was like, yo. Alright. GG's. You got me on that one. This could be a good spot to cross.
jumpers. <sighs> Gone again. Wait, she led us here. She must have had a reason. Oh, the rope. All the motions are trapped here. Old emotions. Parking? Toki me indrasta, skal nam phalas. Mercy upon me, O oh God, according to thy loving kindness. For I have done this evil in thy sight. Hang me up before the Lord against the sun. That is fierce anger be turned away. Deliver me from my blood guilt. Purge me, and I shall be clean. Tell me you understand what is going on. I don't. I would, but I don't. She killed herself out of guilt. But guilt about what? Huh? I'm so lost. Oh, yo. What up? How do I get down there? There she is. I pray she stays there. No more running. Hold on, there's a chest over here. I must touch. I must touch it. That's it? I swear to God, the next time I check my money, I better have 10 gajillion dollars. What strangeness is this? Can you really be Goody Perkins? I can be Hepzibah Perkins, and I am. I know Mr. McRae, but I don't know you. I'm Antea Duarte. I need your help. I do not wish to ask for it, but I must. I have prayed for help, but God has not sent his answer. Because I do not deserve an answer. Unless the answer is you. Then God mocks me. But at least he answers. Why hunt this ship? Why are you here? What draws you to this ship? It all began and ended here. I have been punished for my sins. But God has given me the chance to right my wrongs. I must take it. I must warn me. Uh, of the danger. The gates of heaven are closed to me, and the Lord is deaf to my complaint. I've committed the greatest of all sins. I denied the life he gave me. Damnation eternal awaits us both. I must save her from herself. What? This is... How can you be alive and dead at the same time? This is the Lord's punishment. This is his will. I remember the bone-chilling cold as I wandered in the endless darkness. Then, suddenly, 
His warm and dazzling light enveloped me and brought me back here to where I'd lost my life. This is my penance. Damned to watch, helpless, as I sin against him. Again, and again, and again. But then, I thought, perhaps not. Perhaps this is my chance for redemption. For absolution. For salvation. Life can take you to hmm. the darkest places. I know this. I know how tempting a permanent solution to a temporary problem can seem. Yet some consider it the worst of sins. What brought you to it? God knows. And I would prefer to keep it between he and I. If you want us to help, we'll need to know. I just need you to get away from her. Every time you ask her the question, it's one more chance for her to remember. That's her sister. Your living self seems to have lost her memory. Any idea how? She has lost her memory because she is haunted. Perhaps this is why God has sent me. You remember, and she forgets. What happens if it starts to come back to her? Then she will remember, and I will forget. This is genuinely fascinating. If she remembers, I have failed. I am the keeper of her memories, her pain, her faults and her guilt. I protect her from the past to safeguard her future. You don't protect her though. You're killing her. Then she dies without adding to her sins. And I am no longer needed. Huh? This has to be her sister. We must go now. Please. Save her. What now? We go back to the old lady's house and check in on her. I forgot to check up there. Ah, oh, fuck it. Yes. Who fucking is this? This case is beyond me. What about you? Charles once told me about a time traveling ghost. I didn't believe him. Kronos, god of time. This has something to do with the ship. Well, obviously. Exactly what I was thinking. Uh... Time and the void have a special relationship. Maybe it's that. Makes sense. Ceridian's perception of past, present, and future seems flexible. Ceridians had a long life of void walking. Maybe it rubbed off. Maybe Goody Perkins stood too close to the void. Really? You think it's... She's haunting herself? Is that what, you, is that what we're getting at? Is that what we're saying here? I don't think she's home. Where is she? <laughs> A wee island kiss for you.
Got stuck, man. Um, so, do we still just go inside? Goody Perkins! Look, the rock. There's an echo here. What's that mean? Come on! Won't someone do something? Cowards, you all! We welcomed you, and this is how you reward us! Confess now, woman! Confess the names of your accomplice witches! Or be sent back to the rotten hell you worship! Stone replet with spectral traces. Hepziba Perkins laid this first stone down to execute Deborah Comenius. Damn it. Wish we hadn't seen that. But we have seen it. Now we know. At Deborah Comenius's execution, Hepziba Perkins placed the first stone. But who's this Hepziba? Okay, it's also Hefzeba Perkins. I still think it's her sister. I don't know what it is. I, I I think it's her sister. Who the fuck is this? How bad is it? She remembers. And soon shall I die. Oh. You took part in the torture and murder of Deborah Comenius. You killed her. I could not bear the grief of my husband's loss. It turned to anger. I sought a culprit. My rage was blind. I knew Deborah guilty because I needed her to be guilty. I was not alone in it. I share the blame, but the guilt is all my own. This mistake, how do we stop you, her? from making it. Talk to her. She remembers. The curse will be repeated. Her memory returns and she remembers the stone. She remembers the day. The day she killed. The day she killed Deborah. The memory of that sin, of her blood guilt, will drive her to another sin yet worse. I must be stopped. So how do we... We must go now. Please, don't let her do it. Save me from the sin I'll soon commit. If Ziba Perkins' ghost wants to stop her past self killing herself. Ah. She doesn't... Okay, I see where this is going. Mrs. Perkins, are you all right? I have a weight upon me. The stone. The stone. May God forgive me. What have I done? I remember now. I remember everything. Aye, and I can tell you're upset. It's a lot to take in. Unfortunately, there's more. There's a lot more. The ghost that haunts you is you. It's hoping to stop you doing something that you'll regret. My ghost! Is this why sadness hangs heavy on my poor heart? Is this how I feel my guilt? You must live. Please believe me. The alternative is far, far worse. I know. But what if that's what I deserve? You're a good soul, sir, and a man of action. Help me. Spare me my misery. I beg 
you hand it. Hand it now. She takes you for a murderer. The sin is hers. Don't take it for your own. Fuck. She's right, though. I feel your pain, but it's not for me to end it. Mrs. Perkins, it's time. You heard. Show yourself. We can ascend her. You, the ghost of Goody Hepzibah Perkins, have suffered enough. Time to leave your past behind you. Time to go. No. You don't understand. It will happen again. God will... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. We go back. You're right. <laughs> My finger slipped. Whoa. A little crazy there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yo. Whoa, buddy. Mrs. Perkins. Can uh, okay, we skip this? Life is a gift to be cherished. Sadness fades, joy returns, you can't throw it away. I know, but what if that's what I deserve? You're a good step. She takes you. I hear you, Mrs. Perk. You heard. She'll do it again, she's right. Hepsiba Perkins, as you live and breathe, I know your past and your future too. I've heard your request. I see no other way. There is always another way. But if this will prevent your damnation, I'm happy to serve. Thank you. You seem a nice young man. I know how much this costs you. Those okay. So this is this is really nuanced, right? Because you blame her, but she is she also knows that she she is to blame and no one else. He fucked up. So she wants to be she wants to atone for her sins, I guess, in that sense. So you're giving her that. He doesn't, and Taya doesn't want you to, to share that burden, but it's one of those things where... I sail towards my end. And oh, my God bless you, Red McRae. Okay. You heard my complaint. Thank you. Okay. All right. Even though we did a bad thing, we're not a bad guy. You know what I'm saying? That was something. It won't be the last weird case you have. Trust me. Why would you say that? Great. We have all these dumbass motherfuckers. Got him. Fucking got him. All right, let's go. All 
I guess we'll go down here real quick. Let's see what happens. I don't know what this is. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I forgot about this. Something wicked is tied to this. Yes. Oh, no. I know. I know. We must do the ritual of unbounding. You are gone, command. <laughs> I command you, be gone, thought. Alright, what's this? What goodies I got? Apotheosis? Oh, come on, why'd I drink that shit? Okay, what the fuck is this apotheosis? Defeating enemy with NT increases the damage of the next rifle shot by 80%. Yeah, ain't nobody care about no stupid ass gun. Bro, let's be real. We'll use this for... Um, auxiliary use. I still want to know how I get this. Okay, where? Hold on. Let's see. Where is this? Okay, I'm looking at that. It's over here. There's gotta be... Gotta be, gotta be, gotta be. Yep. Don't know. I'm going back. Don't care enough for it. Whoa. Where the fuck is the town? This is the town, right? What does it say? There's a lot of stuff in the town that we need to talk to, so... I'm gonna figure this out. A fog is setting upon the town because... Apparently I chose the wrong thing. But he... Is the one who caused all of this... In the beginning. And he was the one who needed to answer for his sins. Only thing we can do is help. But it goes deeper than that, right? No more ghost totems. That's funny. There's a lot of fog here. There's a lot of shit going down here. Someone inside's hard at work. Wait. Spectral stains. Haunted house. Oh shit. A literal haunted house. All right. I got one and one. Oh hell yeah! What's this? Yes, and then I don't like that. We'll we'll go for something else. Refund it. Let's see. I like that. I guess we have to start parrying. Now let's rest.
Isn't this the one that's a uh, haunted house? It was like mad haunted houses. Now everything's haunted here. Jesus Christ. Someone is vexed behind that door. What happened? Excuse the mess. Another bottle broke. It's no big business. Are you sure you're all right? You seem a little overwhelmed. Uh, a bottle fell from its shelf. No big business, Mr. McRaith. Happens all the time. Are you all right? If you must know, sir. I have a drinking problem. Really? I do. My liquor disappears. My bottles fall to the floor and break, though I'm nowhere near. It is a drinking problem indeed. Objects inexplicably vanishing, moving or breaking. Either you're haunted or you're clumsier than you think. Haunted, you say? Mm, well, Your Majesty, why not? As the saying goes, when life gives you a torrent of shit, May as well be haunted. You could be in danger. To be haunted is really good. Well now, that is bad news. Which is good, because I don't believe in good news. I'm offering you my help. Can you afford to refuse it? I don't believe in helping hands either. But if you want to do whatever it is you do, please feel free to do it. When did the bottle breaking start? I don't know. I gave up on keeping track of time or things. Normally, if a bottle disappears, I drank it and forgot. But I'm not wrong about this. In quiet moments, I hear the bottle glass crack. When I'm not there, the liquor moves about. Other times, they dare to fall of a sudden out of nowhere and break upon the floor. The shelves are straight and proper stacked. I had Ishmael check. It is a mystery, right enough. Ishmael and you were close, I believe. Oh, how folk love to talk. They're wrong. There's nothing improper between me and Ishmael. He works for me and we enjoy each other's company. He's a good friend who lives upstairs. I have my own little house across the way. Ah, oh, talk of an angel. Hear the flutter of his wings. Phoebe? What's the matter? Oh, good day. What oh, can I well, do? Well, it's just another bottle broke. I'd blame my butterfingers, but Mr. Banisher here thinks we may have a ghost. God take my soul. I'm sorry. The spilled liquor. The stink. Come now. Come now. I'm... Sorry. All is well, Ishmael. Breathe. Just breathe. It's just another worry fit. You'll be... F Soft and patient, ma'am. Polite to the point of subservient. Seems sad. Fine. While he gets oh, back on his feet, let's look around. Broken glass. She said bottles in her house shifted and fell. We should check it out. Yeah, but... I don't think that's the case, though, right? Wouldn't you have said if it was, um... Spectral or not? You're safe. Amiya, not going anywhere. There's been land ship at the Covenant Beach and the dock there is destroyed. It shall surprise you not you not to learn that trade is interrupted. Half our operation wiped out a storm. Curses are bad for business. I see. Hmm, nice abacus. Imagine trying to use one of those after a bottle of rot gut. Poor Ishmael has fits of worry. Do 
He seemed upset by the smell of liquor. Did I pick the wrong thing? Is there... Oh, over here. Mistress Wellcott, there have been complaints. Do not come to the meeting house drunk again, or you shall spend the day in the pillory. The governor disliked Mistress Wellcott's manner. What a surprise. What can a ghost only communicate by breaking me bottles? Feeble? A feeble ghost, capable only of small mischief? Ghost. Hint obtained. There's three of them. Phoebe, 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 East Bay was losing. They've been playing for years. I'm keeping the score. Either Ishmael's getting better or Phoebe's getting worse. For Constance. For Constance. Phoebe is a painter. This is just an easel. No paints. Unfinished work? Why would you name a painting before starting it? Maybe it's done, you just don't know. Bay of New Eden, Dock East, Northeast. This is to certify that Phoebe Walcott, resident at New Eden, is registered as the proprietor of the land compromised in the above mentioned title, including a warehouse, a constructible beach, a dock, and the river mouth. The consideration of 80 pounds. The transaction is signed in the presence of those witnesses. Okay. Phoebe Walcott's done well for herself. Her own warehouse and pier at Covenant Beach. What is this? A ghost was here. Not long ago. Her will. No Phoebe and Ishmael are friends, but it was a generous will. For shelter and protection. Our shy, bottle-breaking ghost also hides things. Why the will? To protect Phoebe? Everything Ishmael has, he gets from her. Perhaps the ghost believes he's taken advantage. Maybe it's to protect Ismail, actually, I don't know. Where else do we go from here? Is that it? Oh, one more. Phoebe likes a drink. Or five. Maybe that vexes our mysterious ghost. Interesting. Oh. Wait for me, sweetie. Mama will be there soon. Wait for me, sweetie. Mama will be there soon. This is as sad as it is disturbing. Despite her defiance, her past butters her. I doubt there's anything more to be found here. Let's go back to the store and ask a few more questions. Okay. Where's the store? Oh, shit. Have you found your ghost? May I see your whip? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I can buy some shit now. Okay, hell yeah. What's this? Is 
I do like that. Tell me about yourself, that I might better understand who haunts you. Widow and proud. Town drunk and prouder. A fine chess player, even better when tipsy. That's about it. What can you tell me about your late husband? The truth is as boring as a sober day, I'm afraid. A happy couple we were until we were not. Strange, is it not? How you marry a fine man and at the first small contrariety discover he's a dubious, unreliable coward. Could he be a mysterious ghost? Took less than a month for Solomon to abandon me. My caring husband became a brickle white livered chicken. He trooped off a hunting. Heard he died in New France spitting my name. If there's more, you'll have to find it out for yourself. Your Scottishness. Fair enough. No other family? No. I'm the child of dead parents and the parent of a dead child. The truth, as I say, is boring. Oh. How long have you been running the store in the Harrows? Years. Decades. Centuries. When I arrived, the farmers had no store. Folks were glad to have me. Even old Askell was pleased. Of course, I was a respectable widow at the time. Respectable merchants are a boon to New Eden, don't you know? What happened to the respectable bit? My husband and daughter push up daisies in the New World muck, Your Majesty. Respectability is a great steaming pile of all shite. Not really... what? The, her, her, what? How's Ishmael? Feeling better, is he? He's cleaning up the broken glass. I've buggered off till he's finished, and you should too. Would you know, by any chance, what, what pulls the trigger on his crises? He deals with his pain as best he can, like all of us. You leave him alone now, yeah? I'm sorry, I must insist. You, Your Majesty, are tugging at my berries now, and it vexes me. I'm here to protect you from a ghost, Mistress Walcott. Ishmael's condition may be important. Ishmael, Lord, just needs a drink. He has a past, and because of it, when he gets the anxieties, he collapses. It's how he is, and he won't take his medics. Well, that's all right, because I can easily drink enough for two. Your troublesome ghost meddles with more than your booze. It also hid your will. I knew things were vanishing. It wasn't just the liquor. Whose ghost do you think might hide your liquor in your will? Sounds like my long-dead husband's particular brand of mischief. Ghosts may linger long in the invisible before returning. If you've liquor stocked elsewhere, I'd like to check it. I would too, sir. But they abandoned me warehouse some time ago and I've since lost the keys. Ishmael may have spares. His room is upstairs, right over our heads. A trusted friend, is he? <sighs> Despite his efforts to keep me alive, I consider him my one and only friend. All right. Thank you for your time. I'll take no more of it for now. No matter. I've all the time in the world. Ishmael is her own, one and only friend. I wonder why. Wards, you're on your own. I'm with you once more. Games of strategy, games of chance. This Bible really annoyed him. I hope he kept his opinion to himself. Why did Bennett Law not kill me instead of you, my love? 
Why did I not find the strength to kill him then? I tried, my love. I tried so hard, but his men pinned me to the ground. I still can hear his drunken voice above the pain and rage after I hit him in the face. An eye for an eye, he claimed, so they took mine. Why was I not with you when he strangled you? I can still smell the liquor on his breath, your hair, on my face when he spat on me. We knew Bennett Law was a bad master. I should have found a way to pay for our freedom back before it was too late to save us from this nightmare and in indentured servitude. I've been a coward and now I must pay by, survive by surviving you, my dear Bess, and not being able to punish your murderer. I'm a coward for not stopping poor Phoebe from drinking. For all my sins I shall ex 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 A widow, drunk and inconsolable. And a widower, sober and inconsolable. Hmm. Also, a shy, bottle-breaking ghost. That's not a lot to go on. What is that, a key? Okay. So our mysterious ghost also took time to hide that key. Must be important. Wet sand. Did Ishmael go to the sea recently? Covenant Beach, maybe? Uh, that's a possibility, but... Why would the ghost hide a key? That's what I'm saying. Who the fuck is the ghost? That's the real question. Like, fuck, what the hell is going on here? Like, who the fuck is the ghost? Ishmael took a risk keeping this. Especially around here. Was he scared of a ghost? I'd like to ask him about that. What exactly does this ghost want? There's no clear pattern. Banisher rule number one. A ghost always lingers for a reason. Right. Let's have a chat with Ishmael Law. Okay. The ghost of uh, the guy he killed? Question mark? Mr. Law? How can I help you, sir? It's kind of easy to work for someone who drinks so much. Phoebe Walcott deals with her pain the only way she knows. But you, you dislike heavy drinkers, don't you? My friend is wounded by the horrors of the world. She drinks so that she does not weep. But I weep enough for two. The villagers burned the governor's ghost wards, but you kept one in your room. Why? The wards were sent by God. Yes, I keep one in my lodgings. The better to be safe from evil. I took that shit down. Since you deposed the governor, here God's voice is little heard. The Almighty, it turns out, is easily deterred. God has forsaken Ishmael law, or so he thinks. God may be easily deterred, sir, but I'm not. Then you had better get to work, for the good folk of the Harrows teeter on the brink. You had a, a fit of worry. Not the first, I gather. What scared you? You embarrass me, sir. <laughs> no need to be embarrassed, Mr. Law. But I do need the information if I'm to end this haunting. My fits, sir, being the work of no ghost, shall not be your business neither. He suffers in silence, just like his friend. What can you tell me about Covenant Beach? Not much, sir. There's a locked warehouse there. The ghost that haunts this store hid the key. That was Mistress Walcott's storehouse, at the centre of her business. It's derelict now. But you've been there of late, haven't you? I found sand from the beach in your lodgings. Why did you go to the warehouse? And why would the ghost hide the key to it? I don't know what you are scraping for, mister, but you'll not find it on my boots. I'll see you later, mm. Ishmael. Anytime, sir. Was he acting mad weird?
Phoebe Walcott finds no joy in the world without liquor. Strange case. We found nothing conclusive. The warehouse by the beach is the only lead left. Let's go. Where the fuck is that? What is she talking about? Oh, it's down here. Jesus. 